Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MathDBase.com Anacast series. I'm your host, John Kisiege. In this installment in the Developmental Mathematics series, I'm going to discuss Prime and Composite Numbers, Part 2, The Sieve of Eratosthenes, A Method of Finding Prime Numbers. A prime number is a whole number larger than 1 whose only divisors are 1 and itself. In other words, a prime number's only factors are 1 and itself. 2, 17, 43, 87, 113, and 617 are six examples of prime numbers, though 1 technically satisfies the definition to be a prime, since its only divisors are 1 and itself. By convention, 2 is agreed to be the smallest prime. A composite number is any whole number that is not prime. The first 10 prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and 29. A whole number is said to be completely factored when its factors are all prime. Over 2,000 years ago, a Greek astronomer and geographer, Eratosthenes, devised a simple and systematic method of picking out prime numbers from all the whole numbers when arranged in a consecutive sequence. His process eliminates all of the non-prime numbers from a collection, leaving only the prime ones behind, just as a colander or sieve would. To see how his method works, I will demonstrate with a list of whole numbers from 1 to 100, but the process will work with a list of any size. Starting at 2, color every second or even number in red, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc., to 100. These numbers are all multiples of 2. Then, starting at 3, color every third number in green, 6, 9, 12, 15, etc., to 99. These numbers are all multiples of 3. Now starting at 5, color every fifth number in yellow, 10, 15, 20, 25, etc., to 100. These numbers are all multiples of 5. Then, beginning at 7, color every seventh number in purple, 14, 21, 28, 35, etc., to 98. These numbers are all multiples of 7. Continue by starting with the next prime numbers in the same way until your list ends. Each of the starting numbers is a prime number listed in consecutive order. The numbers that remain on your list in black are primes. The sieve works because the numbers that are colored are multiples of the first prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. If a number is colored, it is a multiple of another number other than 1, and therefore not a prime. It is interesting to note that 2 is the only even prime number. Numbers that end in 5, such as 15 and 45, are divisible by 5, and those ending in 0 are divisible by 10, which means that they are also divisible by 2 and 5. Generally, only numbers that end in 1, 3, 7, or 9 can be prime. 